Okay, so now we're going to try a little bit of chakra tai chi. And chakras are basically just energy centers in the body. So this is really very good for rejuvenating, purifying, healing and cleansing each of the energy centers of the body. Any questions? Fantastic. Yeah, ready to give it a go? I'm ready. This is, this is very gentle. This is a very gentle exercise. Yeah, very gentle. Very gentle. Very you different than Shiva style. It is. <laughs> and you can, you, we're going to go through each of them a little bit quicker than I usually would. I would usually, um, on each each energy center, take a little bit longer. But for this video, we're going to just do it a little bit shorter, just to give you a flavor of each of, how, how you do each of the chefs. Fantastic. Okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's I begin. Do. Let's begin. <laughs> let's begin. So we just stand like this, okay? And what we're going to do first of all is, is shower of abundance, like shower and um, revitalized energy shower. So we just we bring up the energy, so we bend right down to the floor and we just shower it around us like this. Whatever you want for the day, we'll do three of those, just to begin. Okay, we're going to step back so that you can, that you can see your whole body. The right, the left side of the body is the focus on yourself. The right side is the focus on your relationship with the world and everyone in it. So to begin with, with the root center, we're going to start with the left side. We're going to rock forward, breathing in. Okay. Actually, before we do that, let's just let's just stabilize ourselves. Okay. So bringing up the energies of the earth like this, bringing them up, up on your tiptoes and brushing down the energy of the heavens. So just feel this. This is engaging with the root center, the root chakra, which is very rooting, grounding, centering, feeling safe and secure. The color here is like a dark red, like the color of the earth. What you can do as you're doing this is even just imagine the roots extending from your feet down into the earth, down into Mother Earth. We'll just do one more. And then we just hold it in front of our root chakra here. Visualize this deep red, rich color of the earth. Send healing to any area of this in yourself that needs maybe this this safety, security, connection, and then just we move up again, move up the body to the center, this is the sacral chakra, center of sexuality, creativity, the, core, or the color here is the color orange like a mango, so what we're going to do is rocking on the right, we're going to bend down and just shower that around the sacral, so like this. Breathing in and out. And just get in touch here with any clogged emotions, maybe some, anything that's any blockages around the sacral chakra, the center of sexuality and sensuality. So beautiful movements, helping cleanse and restore the center. One more. And then we just move gently into the right. And here again, we're doing the same movement. And this time we're thinking of our relationships with others in community, how we express ourselves creatively. This is our center of creativity also. How we express ourselves in the larger world amongst others, what we share, And one more. And we just hold here, moving up to our power center, our, our solar plexus. The color here is a bright yellow. So in the solar plexus, this time, again with the right, we're going to move out into a circle. So we're creating like a circle. I like circles. Mm, circles are good. <laughs> 
And in this, so we're, we're shining the color yellow, the bright color yellow for the sun, sun's energy. And here, we're creating balance. So restoring, bringing balance to any center of our, to our power center. So maybe, maybe if there's a need to be a victim or the need to dominate, it's bringing in balance into the center. Just imagine it. Give a tremendous sense of peace. Mm. It's very, uh, very healing for the mm. yeah, power center. So this one is solar plexus, right? Yeah. And so the bright color yellow for healing and balancing. One more on this side, and then we move again to the right. And this time it's the same, the same movement. But we're thinking of um, our, our place in the wider world, in our relationships with others and community. But also sending peace. And we're thinking of, of people in leadership roles in the world. So those with the power to make decisions, that they make them wisely. And they think about others in the process of doing so. In a balanced way. So this is all about, the solar plexus is all about creating balance here and harmony in this, in this energy center. And we just do one more. Again, I said we're going through these a little bit quicker than we usually would. So we're, we're just holding that here for a second, tuning into our solar plexus, our power center. She does lots of power. <laughs> Moving up to our heart center. And this is really gentle, the heart center. Okay, so we're doing a really gentle technique here with the left, breathing out, anything we want to get rid of, breathing in what we want to bring into the heart. So just getting rid of any hurt, any pain, any sadness, really working with the breath with each of these to release, to restore and rejuvenate. The color here is green for healing. Yeah, and it's really nice when it's synchronized, when you do it with synchronized yeah, with something. So letting go of whatever no longer serves, restoring, rejuvenating the heart with love, compassion, and kindness. And just one more on this side. And then on the other side, we'll do the same. And this time we're thinking of our relationship in the, with others, in community again, but in the world as a whole. Color here is rose for love, compassion, kindness. And we're giving love, peace, harmony to the world. In our relationships with others, in our relationships with ourselves. And just filling ourselves full of love, compassion, warmth. One more. Back to the heart. Just holding the heart. We've got three more energy centers. The next one is our throat center, center communication. And this the color here is blue. So what we do is like we fly. So with the right the left side, we're flying. Like a bird. Wow. Yeah, it's good, eh? Fantastic. It's like <laughs> And this is, what do you think this is, Shiva? What do you think this represents for communication? I have no idea. Freedom. Oh, freedom. This is like freedom to speak, to speak your truth, to get in tune with, with what that truth is, first of all, to listen, to communicate openly, to listen to others, and then just to speak that truth. So this is really free. Beautiful. Mm. And the color here is blue, like celestial blue. One more. And then we do the same on the other side. So on the right side, we're doing the same, like a bird or swimming, like that also. And this time, we're thinking about how we communicate with others. Getting rid of any stuck words. Any words that don't serve, the things that we say to others, how we express ourselves with others, 
May they be words of peace, of love, of harmony. And for all those we think we can think on this side of all those in the world who don't have their voice heard, whose voices is very hard to hear, or for them it's very difficult to express themselves because of many, many things, many limitations. And one more. And then we bring it back to the throat center. And moving up, the next one. This is our third eye, center of vision, intuition, and dreams. You know the color? Like indigo. So the indigo here, we're doing a movement whereby it's like this. So we're bringing up the energy of the earth, and we're sweeping it through the third eye. Just to cleanse. And this one, and then after that, you can just bend a little bit to the and each one, like this, breathing in. So we're really just cleansing the third eye. Getting rid of any any negative thoughts that don't serve, any, any things that, anything that holds us back from fulfilling our true potential. Our center of vision, of dreaming, of intuition. So we're just cleansing Getting rid of all of those doubts and fears. One more. And on the right side, we're doing the same movement. And on the right side, we're, we're tapping into the vision for the whole of, for all living beings. So what that vision is of the world that we want to create and be a part of. Like what we're doing here and sharing, <laughs> sharing these techniques. Bringing harmony to ourselves and our relation with our relationship with ourselves, listening intuitively to ourselves and with others. And just one more. And this is our third eye, center of intuition, vision, and dreams. And the next one, the last one, our crown at the top of our head. Color here is white. And here we're, we're connecting with spirit. Whatever that is for each of us. So what is spirit for you? Spirit for me is uh, unlimited. 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 <laughs> Space. Yeah. So we're going to connect with that now. With just <coughs> touching the earth. And gently bringing up this, this power. The earth power. And, and just holding it above our crown chakra. Like this. So circulating it, circulating this energy, connecting with our own spirit, with our soul star, with our purpose, widening that up, widening that up to be all encompassing. So really just connecting, connecting here with spirit with whatever guidance it is that we, we tune into, each of us tunes into. And opening to listen to that guidance. And then we just bring that down again. And the last, the next time, we're going to bring it up. And this time, it's more the focus on the wider world, and ourselves and our community with others. So again, we're circulating this energy, we're opening and open into all those around us. So all those in the world, you also, we're opening up to everyone to receive this oneness of all, knowing this connection between everyone, that we are all one, tapping into that, and just feeling it, feeling ourselves as part of their, part of the sky, part of each other. And now we're just going to grind that again. And we're going to just do three hands at our heart center. And we're going to do three breaths just to finish. So breathing in and bringing it down like a channel of all the energies, all the chakras.
Rock at our heart center. Namaste. Namaste.